That'll do it. Yes. We've done it. Let's go. Bang. Nice and easy. Gobbled up like a lasagna. Because my name's Garfield. That's right. <laughs> we hate Mondays and we love the chestnut raid. Welcome to another Dan Squared video, Danimals. We're on day two of the Chestnut 7 Star Terror Raid. In this video, we're gonna show you our Meowskarada build for taking on Chestnut. It's Grass Starter versus Grass Starter. Then after that, we're gonna show you some gameplay. Here's a high level overview of our Meowskarada build. And here's the Chestnut that we caught with it. And this is the Appleton build that we used last night. Be sure to check that video out if you haven't already. Let's take a closer look at Meowskarada. We gave our Meowskarada a modest nature to boost its special attack while lowering its attack. We gave Meowskarada max special attack EVs, max defense EVs, and put the final four EVs in HP. I know what you're thinking right now. But Sundan, Meowskarada is a physical attacker, and Flower Trick is a physical attack. What are you doing? Well, that is true. Meowskarada's physical attack may be higher than its special attack, but Meowskarada's move pool for this raid makes it a great special attacking option. Also, Chestnut has a much higher physical defense than special defense stat. Physical attackers aren't going to get the job done in this raid. We got to use special attack. We gave Meowskarada max IVs except for attack. We gave our Meowskarada the Protean ability. That way it could shed its dark typing. The Protean ability changes the type of the user to the same type as the first move that it uses. We gave Meowskarada the Shell Bell so it could recover some HP when it's dealing damage. We gave Meowskarada Terra type Grass so it could deal some serious stab damage with Energy Ball. But once again, I know what you're thinking. But Sundan, Chestnut has the bulletproof ability. Energy Ball cannot hit Chestnut. And you are correct, that's where the move Worry Seed comes into play. Worry Seed changes Chestnut's ability from bulletproof to insomnia. Energy Ball is the main attacking move that we're gonna use in this raid. We're gonna use Fake Tears to harshly lower Chestnut's special defense. Meowskarada is gonna use Nasty Plot to sharply raise its special attack further increasing the amount of damage that it can do. That's the build, now let's see how to use it. Use Worry Seed to change Chestnut's ability from bulletproof to insomnia. This will also trigger the Protean ability to change Meowskarada's typing to just grass, losing the dark typing. Losing the dark typing is important to not take super effective damage from Hammer Arm. Next, use three fake tiers to lower Chestnut's special defense by six stages. Then use Energy Ball until Chestnut nullifies the stats and abilities affecting your side of the field. After Meowskarada has its stats nullified, Use Nasty Plot two times to raise Meowskarada's special attack four stages. Terastalize as soon as you can when you're at three quarters HP or above. Continue swinging with Energy Ball. Chestnut's gonna nullify Meowskarada's stats a second time, but do not use Nasty Plot this time. Just continue using Energy Ball. You'll be terastalized and dealing enough damage by now. Use Energy Ball until you knock out Chestnut. It's important to note that if Meowskarada gets knocked out, make sure that the first move you use is Energy Ball. The best AI teammates for this raid are any of the Intimidators, Drift Blim using Will-O-Wisp or R. Boliva, setting the grassy terrain for a 30% damage boost to Energy Ball. And lastly, the most important step to crushing this Chestnut raid is to make sure that you're subscribed to Dan Squared. All right, it's time to see Chestnut get eaten like a Lazan by Garfield. Let's go. Let's see what teammates we get. Intimidator would help. One, two Intimidators, two. plus a Drift Blim. Two Intimidators and the Driftlin, which will use Will-O-Wisp to burn Chestnut, which will further lower that attack. The dream setup with our Meowskarada right now. Yeah, this is... Couldn't have asked for a better teammate. Thanks, AI. Thanks, Streamer Luck. Thank you. First thing we gotta do is use Worry Seed. We need to use Worry Seed to uh, change Chestnut's ability from Bulletproof to Insomnia. That way we can actually hit it <laughs> with our Energy Ball. It also sets our type to grass, so we won't be taking super effective damage from the hammer arm. That's right. It gets rid of the, our dark typing. So then Miascarado will be a solely monotype grass type. Right there, but here we go. Next, we're going to use fake tears. She's running slow today. Running, running pretty slow today. Right. We're going to use Fake Tears three times. We're going to use it to lower Chestnut's special attack as far as it'll go. Six stages. Or, sorry, special defense. And once we've done that, we'll start using... Hopefully, he'll nullify, and we'll start using some Nasty Plots. That's right. 
these fake tears are going to allow Garfield to do some serious, serious damage. Alright, so we're on to our third fake tears. We're hoping for a nullify stat effects after this turn. Excellent. That's going to put Chestnut down to minus six special defense. So that energy ball is going to be hitting for quadruple what it normally does. Oh, we just got critical hit. That's no good. And there it is. There's the nullify. And there's the shield. So now we're going to use some nasty plots. We're going to hope we live here. Right. Because we are pretty low. No more critical hits, please. And if Miascarada gets knocked out, we want to make sure that the first move that we use is Energy Ball. Because that Protean ability will change Miascarada's type to whatever type of the move it uses. Yep. And we want Miascarada to be grass type in this raid. Absolutely. And we avoided an attack there that is very nice. Open to a double avoid, avoid it again. Here we go. All right, so now we can go. We've done two nasty plots, so we're up four stages on our special attack. Chestnut's down six stages on the special defense. We're gonna start hitting pretty hard. We're not even terrestrialized yet, and we're doing some pretty good chunk damage on that shield there. We're hitting six times the normal base power. We're getting triple from that plus four stage in special attack, and quadruple from the minus six H to special defense. It adds up fast with this build. And we don't get very hurt from that. And now we'll we'll start healing up and we're gonna terrestrialize as soon as possible. By the time we're able to terrestrialize, we should be right around full health, I'd say. Oh yeah, because even without terrestrialized, that's a big hit. That's gonna do some nice healing. And I think barring a critical hit, we should be pretty safe. I agree. Wow. And we're avoiding some attacks. It's really, really nice. <laughs> One more energy ball and we should be able to terrestrialize. You know, Garfield may hate Mondays, but it sure loves when Chestnut misses. That's true. It's a great recovery. Back to full health. Haven't even terrestrialized yet. And another avoid. Who would have thought Meowth Karate the special attacker? It's not Flower Trick, folks. That's energy ball. And here we go. This should probably take out the shield at this point. Once the shield's gone, I'm expecting a second nullify of our stats. Um, since we're terrestrialized, we won't need to use the nasty plot to uh, to raise our special attack again. That's right. We're already going to be doing plenty of damage with that bonus from terrestrializing. And that's some serious damage. Look at that damage. Wow. Go tell John. Lasagna's ready. Garfield's hungry. And we're eating. We are eaten. If he didn't nullify our stats, I'd say one more attack and it's done. Since the stats got nullified, I think it's going to take two. But, uh, smooth sailing from Half here. Half the time on the clock still. Plenty of time. Here we go. No need Look to... Look at that. Oh. Huge chunk of damage. Beautiful. One more should do it. Half the time on the clock. It's all oh, the intimidators. The burn. He keeps raising his defense, but we're special attacking. Doesn't matter. Here we go. Here it comes. One more energy ball. And that'll do it. Yes. We've done it. Let's go. Bang. Nice and easy. Gobbled up like a lasagna, because my name's Garfield. That's right. <laughs> we hate Mondays, and we love the Chestnut Raid. And if you want to farm the Chestnut Event Raid or any other Event Terror Raids, make sure you check out the video in the description down below. Garfield the Meowscarada was easily able to solo Chestnut. We didn't even need to call Odie for backup. Let us know in the comments if you try out this build or what builds you are using to take on Chestnut. And if you're enjoying our content, be sure to drop a like, leave a comment, or share this video with everyone you know. Also, make sure to use Energy Ball on the subscribe button. As of recording this, we're at 350 subscribers, well within range of our goal of 500 subscribers. Every bit of support helps us grow and we're grateful for every bit of interaction. Thanks for watching and happy chestnut season.